हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इज ऑन आफ्टर गेटिंग फ्लैट पैटर्न ऑफ एनी ड्राइंग इन द शीट मेटल डिजाइन सो हाउ यू कैन गेट द डिटेल्स ऑफ द ड्राइंग इन प्रॉपर ड्राइंग फॉर्मेट सो दैट यू कैन गेट ऑल द डिटेल्स ऑफ द ड्राइंग इन अजी वे ओके सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वे टू जनरेट एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इन शीट मेटल एंड नेक्स्ट वे विल गेट or we have to convert it into proper drawing format like this okay so let us start it and uh, click on this file take this new file and select this sub type sheet metal and take this and click okay select millimeters now here is our new sheet first of all click on this planner and select this front plane next convert it into sketch view and take the center rectangle and draw it from over here like this of any dimension sorry again draw this and next click on the screen tick mark and here sheet is generated primary sheet or we can say primary all of thickness 1 mm make that thickness to 10 mm and enter okay now this is the primary wall which has to be generated by planner wall and next to click on this flange and select this down edge okay zoom it here you can see this is the upper edge and this is the lower edge so select this uh, lower edge so that we can generate this flange and one flange is generated on this edge okay now increase height of this flange by dragging it click on this green mark and next i would like to make one flat on the front side of that here just zoom here you can see this is the upper and this is the lower edge so click on this lower edge for here one flat is generated make the height by dragging it okay so click on this screen tick mark and next again click on this flange and click on this lower edge okay now here the third one flange is created like this click on this green tick mark okay now we have one object of a sheet metal of a various dimension okay and next now just click on this flange one and edit definition okay so here is thickness option i would like to make it into 30 click on this 30 and enter now here this is showing you have entered a value that contain the hull characters so we have to cancel that and put on again the less than uh, less value like uh, 20 enter over here okay the system is taking 20 as a bend radius here you can see this is our bend radius 20 inside okay click on this green tick mark and next if i wanted to make this in this flat okay click on this flat so that here the flat one is highlighted right click on it and edit definition and make thickness up to 20 or just try to make it 30 put 30 over here okay so in flat command you can generate or you can get the 30 inside radius as a bend radius okay so click on this green tick mark okay now the our object is ready for performing the flat pattern so click on this flat pattern our flat pattern is generated okay and uh, this will be helpful for planning of the material so the means we can get all the information of that sheet length and width and thickness of that sheet from this flat pattern and we can put order of the material as per requirement okay 
so this is called as a development planning also and uh, now i have created this uh, flat pattern okay now i have to convert this flat pattern sheet metal into proper drawing format okay so for doing that just follow this procedure click on the file click on new next here from the types select this drawing and untick this click on ok next we have to just keep in mind so here a size will be our standard size is c type ok and click on this ok so the system will generate this drawing format for me ok and we can change in drawing format uh, like uh, we can also put the nameplate also here here the bill of material also according to our, according to our requirements ok so you can insert that template in the format also ok now this is the system generated so i will make next or uh, in the next videos how to make template also ok so this is the system generated template and now click on the general view ok select on this default all and uh, tick this do not prompt for combined step and next click on this ok and next we have to click inside this template somewhere ok now this uh, object is generated over here and i would like to show front front of that drawing ok so click on this front and uh, click on apply ok now this is the drawing uh, this is the front view of the drawing and click on the ok now my front view is here and i am able to make the changes in this like uh, i can move this like this ok this is the front view so i can move like this if you have if you have to lock this position and you don't want it to move further so just right click and here there is a one option lock view moment if you click on this so i am not uh, now i am not able to make the changes or to change the location of that front view okay now my front view is fixed here and locked getting locked okay and the dimension is also generated length and width now again right click on this just click on this and nee, first of all just click on this so you can see some one into is open here and here you can see there is there are some options delete you, you can if you select this delete this front view will be deleted and for coming back control press control z okay and next click on this again okay and uh, here there is also one more option erase view you can erase and next uh, there is a move to sheet okay if you have made this uh, front view in this first sheet okay here is the first sheet you can see over here now click on this plus here is the second sheet okay and next click on this first sheet and uh, if i wanted to this front view in the sheet 2 also so just click on this front view and just click on move to sheet okay now i wanted to move in second sheet so click this sheet 2 and click ok so this front view is in move to sheet 2 and if you click on the sheet 1 you never get that item because we have moved this in the sheet 2 ok now uh, press ctrl z ok again press ctrl z you can get your front view over here ok now again click on this here is one more option projection view click on this projection view now this is the front view i wanted uh, to make top view of this front view so here you can see uh, click on this now here the top view is generated over here right click aside here you can see actually the, the thickness is very less so you can able to see this much thickness from the top side again if you wanted to make this side view of that so click on this and click on this front view and one window will appear and from that window we have to choose the projection view so click on this projection view and click over here like this okay here is your side view 
from side you can get you can see you are able to see only this thickness of the sheet okay uh, for visible visibility purpose uh, i am going to change thickness of that drawing okay so click on this flange one edit it and okay click on this green tick mark and edit this flat flat one okay and this also okay click on this green tick mark click on this planner command right click and edit definition and make it into 30 thickness and enter okay now click on this green tick mark okay the system will generate for me all the sheet will be of 30 thickness okay 30 millimeter now click over here and go to the our drawing okay the system will automatically changes over here also okay this is thickness also changes to from 10 millimeter to 30 millimeter now click on this and uh, here is one more in this window here you can see one more option is there show model annotations it means if you click on this you can get all the dimension all the possible dimension of that sheet here you can see if you wanted to keep all the dimension so you can select from here all the dimension like this okay and apply and cancel it okay so here all the dimension is generated here you can see this is the 30 thickness sheet okay and uh, according to this uh, dimension you can adjust this also click on this and move it upside and make it into very better way of the view so that you can easily understand this drawing okay click on this move it from aside from the dimension and make the clear view okay like this if uh, i would like to maintain some dimension and i if i wanted to delete some dimension okay so for doing that click on the dimension okay so here is the delete command delete it okay i just wanted to stay only outside dim dimensions I don't want inside so just if you wanted to click uh, delete this just click on it and delete it okay like this like this okay now again click on this and here is one more in this window you can get properties if you wanted any changes to modify it click on this okay just cancel it and select this front view okay and uh, by selecting just click on this edit option okay next before doing that cancel this and uh, there is one more view okay click on the general view and click aside and click on this apply and okay okay here you can also show the isometric view and trigonometric view also okay and here front view top view and side view and after that just click on this front view and uh, click on this edit definition so here are some options if you uh, if you have to show some scale okay now the default scale for the sheet is 0 0.077 you can set a custom scale also click on the custom scale and i am going to put over it 0 0.07 okay now 0. 7 0 okay and click enter apply and okay okay now here you can see this object uh, we have set the value of uh, we have this scale this front view okay so you can again click on this and edit and make this scale as a default scale for the sheet and apply and okay okay in most of the times we have to show or we have to use the scale command okay the object who are uh, too small so for making them as a very uh, clear view of that 
so we can define the scale also again click on this edit this so this one and this was about the scale okay you can scale that object particular object and next here there is a view display and click on this view display click on this no hidden and from tangent edges display style make it phantom and click apply okay okay now here you can see it is in a proper drawing format okay so the from this we can understand the drawing very easily like yeah there is a length and width also and these dotted lines are the bend radius okay it is showing actually the bend radius bend radius and the all the dimension again click on this click edit definition click on view display and in display style select the no hidden and tangent edges to phantom apply and ok ok here you can see here uh, you can get clear your side view also ok like this and the photo of you do the same procedure as we have done for this front and side view click on display display style no hidden and from tangent edges make it phantom and apply and ok like this ok so now our front top and side view are clear here you can give the dimension also click on this and uh, click on this annotations all the possible dimension is generated by the system but uh, you have to specify and define the dimension only for only limited dimension so that you can get uh, your design clearly ok so I just uh, I would like to just uh, keep the dimension over here so press control key and select one by one like this here you can see one tick mark is generated and uh, if I wanted to the, this 90 angle degree also so click on control and select this also like this and uh, click on this apply and ok and cancel ok now only this dimension is showing here ok now our drawing is generated over here with the proper dimension of that design sheet metal part like this and guys this actually this is the very uh, very most used command in industry ok after making the flat pattern so how you can print that uh, drawing for giving uh, the planning planning of the material or further to our boss so it is very useful ok if you have any queries and uh, queries and some questions will be arising in your mind so just kindly comment on the comment section and uh, I will definitely improve my uh, some uh, correction also and uh, I will improve my skills and suggest me how I can do how I can perform okay thank you very much friend for watching this video